everybody and welcome back to our youtube channel fab5 today in this session we are going to solve this paper for the class 3 nso that is national science olympiad and this paper belongs to the 2023 2024 exam and this is set a for this paper but before going to that please do subscribe to our youtube channel it's our earnest request so that we get motiv motivated for this kind of videos in the future as well and also do not forget to press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on the latest updates Having said so, let us quickly see what is the first question for today is. Question number one from the logical reasoning: In how many different ways can the camel reach the pond? So the camel can reach the pond in so many different ways, as can be seen from these arrows. If you follow the arrows, there are actually six routes which by which the camel can reach these ponds. Hence, the answer D six is the correct answer. Question number two: There is a certain relationship between a pair of figures on the either side of. Double colon. Identify the relationship between the left pair and the and find the missing figure. So this is the first pair, <coughs> square, and then we have a triangle inside the square. Similarly, we have a pentagon on the tip of five, and we have to find what is the missing figure over here. So judging by the figures present in A, B, C, and D, obviously option C is the right answer. Question number three: How many groups of four ducks can be formed from the given? Uh, ducks. So we have already done the uh, calculation, and as you can see, there are four groups. Hence, option B is the right answer. Question number four: Find the missing number in the given uh, number pattern. So as you can see, there is a, a, a jump of certain numbers between each of these figures. So 120 to 150, 30, then 40 jump, then 50 jump. Obviously, 240 plus 60 will be this number, and then after that, 70 will give us 370. So This number in question mark is actually 300 because 240 plus 60 is 300. Hence, option D is the right answer. Question number five: Arrange the alphabets given to form a meaningful English word and identify the category of that word. So we have arranged it. It is horse, which belongs to the animal category. Hence, option B is the right answer. So science section question number six: Look at the given picture. Identify the following plant part. This is P. So we have to identify what is this. How is plant part P useful to a plant? A. It holds the plant firmly to the soil. B. It stores the food made by the leaves. C. It absorbs water and mineral salts from the soil. And D. It transports water and mineral salts to all parts of the plant. Options are A, A and B only. B says A and C only. D, C says D only. And D says A, B. That is A, B and C only, which is the correct answer. So option D is the right answer. Question number seven. Refer to the flow chart. So this is green leaf going over here. Stem from Y. If you move and from stem to if you move, that is Z. Backward moving X from roots to stem and from stem to green leaf is W. Which of the following options represent the transported substances W, X, Y, uh, and correctly and Z correctly? The arrow shows the direction of movement and substances W, X, Y, and Z. Here Z is missing. Let me write Z over here. So these are the classifications for W, X, Y, Z, and these are the four options A, B, C, D. So <clears throat> obviously, from green leaf to stem, water it's okay for W. Sorry, for stem this is stem to green leaf. For stem to green leaf, W is okay. Now X, where is X? This is X. So from root to stem, what should be moving from root to stem? Water, which is also okay. Now for Y, Y is from the leaf to the stem. From the leaf to the stem is food because leaves makes us food for the plant. And Z, Z is also from the stem to the roots. Obviously, yes, leaves provides to the stem, stems provides food to the roots. And in reverse direction, roots provides waters and minerals to the stem. And this stem then carries it forward to the leaf for photosynthesis and further preparation of food. So obviously, A is the correct match. Without looking into B, C, D option, since we have already found the answer, we will mark A as the right answer. Question number eight: Which of the following is not a characteristic of the bird whose food is shown in the given picture? So this is the food. <coughs> a. It is a flesh-eating bird. B. It is also known as the bird of prey. C. It lays the largest egg in the world. And D. It has hooked beak. Correct answer is C. It lays the largest egg in the world. Question number nine: Unscramble the given letter groups to find out the name of a cooking method by which biscuits are made. 
so we have all already outscribed all the letters or all the options first one a is roasting b is baking c is boiling and d is steaming correct answer is b baking question number 10 preservation of food is done to a keep it fresh for a long time b prevent it from getting spoiled c keep the nutrients intact for a long time and d all of these correct answer is d all of these Question number 11. Mekhela Chadar is a traditional dress worn by the women of which state? Options are A. Kashmir, B. Punjab, C. Gujarat, D. Assam. Correct answer is D. Assam. Question number 12. Which of the following items are used for cleaning purposes in the house? So these are the uh, things. This is a brush with a cleaning uh, uh, kind of <coughs> cleaning cloth on top of it. This is a scissor. This is a mop. And this is a vacuum cleaner. So obviously A, C and D are the things which we use for cleaning and I can see B has A, C and D only which means that is the answer. Question number 13 which of the following is a characteristic of synthetic fibers? Options are A they absorb less water, B they dry quickly, C they are wrinkle resistant and D all of this correct answer is D all of this. Question number 14 we tend to sleep while walking on the wet floor as compared to the dry floor this is because A Gravitational force is more on the wet floor. B. Frictional force is more on the wet floor. C. Frictional force is less on the wet floor. And D. Gravitational force is less on the wet floor. Correct answer is C. Question number 15. Identify the label parts 1 to 4 of human digestive system in the given figure and answer the following question. So this is the <coughs> human digestive system. From which part of the human digestive system nutrients are absorbed in the bloodstream? That should be the, our small intestine. And I can see uh, uh, this uh, level 4 is pointing to the small intestine. This is the small intestine and this is the large intestine. Okay. So, obviously, option D is the right answer. Question number 16. Question number 16. For sending an email, mobile computer should be connected to dash. A. Fax machine. B. Printer. C. Cordless phone. D. Internet. Correct answer is D. Internet. Question number 17. Which of the following phases of moons immediately follows this uh, phase of moon? So, answers are A. This is the <coughs> so you have to know the names of these phases. This is new moon, this is full moon, this is third quarter, and this is waning gibbous. Uh, answer over here is A that is new moon. Question number 18. So, <coughs> question number 18 which of the following symbols shows canal on map? <coughs> A is so A, B, C, D, we can see four different types of geographic map points. Among D, D is the right answer because D is what is represented as a Kalan in a map. Question number 19. Which of these mudras or hand gestures in dance depicts a deer head? So these are the four types of different types of uh, dance mudras. Or, uh, so among these, option C is the one that represents the deer head. So option C is the right answer. Question number 20. Study the given Venn diagram and identify the animal X. So animal X is at the intersection of both these two uh, diagrams. So these two qualities must be in X. The first one is its young one is called a kid and the sound of it produce, uh, produces is called bleat. Options are A. Donkey, B. Fox, C. Uh, goat and D. Sheep. Correct answer is C. Goat. Question number 21. Which of the following options shows incorrect posture? Option A is this sitting and leaning on the desk. B is walking straight. C is walking uh, while you know uh, kind of bending from the waist. And option D is both A and C. Obviously A and C is not correct posture. So option D A and C is right. Question number 22. Rohit and Shivani were standing as shown in the given figure. Rohit waved to Shivani and she smiled in reply. Sheet P can be made of what material among A, B, C, D so that this uh, you know communication is possible options are a would be iron c rubber and d glass character is d glass question 23 water is essential to us as it helps to remove waste materials from our body it helps to keep our body cool it helps in the digestion of food d all of this character for is d all of this question number 24 ridhi rang to open the door when her father rang the doorbell she used her sense of dash a hearing b sight c touch d taste Correct answer is A. Hearing. Question number 25. Onam is celebrated in Kerala for dash days. Options are A, 2, B, 5, C, 10, D, 20. Answer is C, 10. Question number 26. Which of the following kids is are not following safety rules? So, A. We are seeing kids are jumping on the desk, which is accident prone. B is also accident prone. 
playing football on the road see this uh, child is actually you know uh, is actually waving outside this bus which is dangerous so all of these situations are dangerous and accident prone hence d all of these is the right answer question 27 x is a force that works in opposite direction of movement of an object in contact with the surface x is a dash a magnetic force b push c pull d frictional force question d is frictional force question number 28 chalk is used for writing on black boards because a it is a soft rock b it is made up of sandstone c it is a hard rock and d it is made up of silica correct answer is a it is a soft rock question number 29 select the correct statement a thar desert is located in south africa no b river ganga is on is one of the rivers in india that is correct dal lake is not in andaman whereas deccan plateau has never moved to china so obviously option b is the right answer Question number thirty. Identify the road sign shown in the given picture. So this is the road sign. Options are A one way, speed breaker ahead is option B, C is no overtaking, and D is slippery road ahead. Correct answer is D, slippery road ahead. Question number thirty one from Ajiva section. Study the given table and select the option that best represents headings P, Q, and R. So these are the options. Three animals names: goldfish, grasshopper, emu, and these are the uh, position from which these uh, statements are either true or false. So, if you go through these uh, positions and the options, you will see D is the right answer for D, which holds true in this particular uh, diagram. So, MU can be true lungs, yes. Grasshopper can fly, and obviously, <coughs> lay eggs. That is also true. Goldfish can lay eggs. So, option D is the right answer. Question number thirty-two. Refer to the given word grid and answer the following questions. X. How many beads, uh, birds? Having chisel shaped bleak are hidden in the word grid, and why is how many birds that wade through water are hidden in the word grid? Wade through water means they have difficulty in walking through water. We have already you know figure out the num names of the bird, and out of this, as you can see, woodpecker and crane. Here is woodpecker, and here is crane. C R A N E and woodpecker. These two have uh, chisel shaped bleak. So those two are. And wade through water, we have found three. First is heron, then hoops, and Third is stork. So among uh, A, B, C, D, I see two and three, which are the options for X is two, and Y is three for us. Hence, C option two and three is the correct match for X and Y. So that is the answer. Question number thirty-three. Refer to the given flowchart and identify the material P, Q, R, S. So P is it is obtained from trees. Q is it is transparent. R is it is shiny, and S is it is light and durable. Let's see P. Tiffin box is not obtained from trees. Wooden door, yes. Moving on to Q, it is transparent. R is not transparent, so that is also gone. C is not obtained from trees, which means only D. Paper is obtained from trees, correct? Transparent window panes are transparent. It is shiny. Steel glass is shiny, and light and durable is plastic chair. So option D is the right answer. Question number thirty-four. Vera shows a starlight light at a bunch of grapes, as shown in the given picture. What can Vera do to enlarge the shadow of the bunch of grapes on the screen? So this is the screen. This is the bunch of grapes. This is the torch light. Option one: shift the screen closer to the grapes. Option two: shift the screen away from the grapes. Option three: shift the grapes nearer to the torch. And option four: shift the torch further away from the grapes. Correct answer is both two and three. Shifting the screen away from the grapes will enlarge the shadow, and also. Shifting the grapes nearer to the torch will also enlarge the shadow. So, among A, B, C, D, I can I can see two and three is mentioned in option D. Hence, option D is the right answer. Number thirty-five. Refer to the given experimental setup and select the options that correctly fills the the blank in the given sentence. After some time, so you can see, after some time there will be formation of water droplets that is to be answered in one, and due to which process that is to be answered in two. So we have ice cubes, metallic plate, beaker with water and a hot plate. Now, first one on the surface of the beaker. On the surface of the beaker, water droplets. That is not possible. On the hot plate. On the hot plate. On the hot plate means this is the hot plate. Now on the hot plate means on top of the hot plate. Top of the hot plate, there is chances of uh, you know. formation of water droplets because of the ice is there which is coming into contact starts to melting but that process is not condensation so that is gone question uh, then option c on the ice cubes yes on the ice cubes there can be water droplets 
but that is also not evaporation because water is inside here and that process is not called evaporation option d on the underside of the metallic plate this is the metallic plate and over here this region because of this water which gets evaporated because of the heat from the hot plate chances are the evaporated water will get collected on the underside of the metallic plate so this is true and condensation this process is also called condensation because water which got evaporated got stuck over here and this water came in con um, uh, it cooled down after uh, you know uh, it was heated up when it heated up it went uh, it went above but it did not leave the area because of this metallic plate whatever water got collected underside it settled over here then it cooled down because of condensation process the evaporated water that is changes from gas form to liquid form and that is called condensation hence option d is the right answer and with that we complete this 35 question for the nso for class 3 set a paper we will shortly publish this in our youtube channel please subscribe press the bell icon with that we will close this session we'll meet again with another interesting video till then have a good day goodbye